And we are tracking two areas in the Atlantic, one of which, by the way, is moving into the Caribbean, that we could see some tropical development over the next two to five days. I know many of you are kind of fatigued at this point, but it is important to stay vigilant all the way through hurricane season. Now, as we look at this tropical disturbance that's sitting, you know, generally around Hispaniola, so that's the island of the Dominican Republic and also uh, Haiti, situated right here. We do see all those thunderstorms that are developing across the area. What's happened is this is actually the cold front that brought us that big cool down about a week ago across the U.S. It's moved into southern portions of the Atlantic, kind of stalled out, and that's allowing for a little bit of energy to maybe focus around this area. It's a pretty classic setup where we can see some development. Right now, the Hurricane Center giving that about a 30 percent chance as this area drifts up towards the north. Now, as this moves up to the north, of course, it's going to move into some cooler water. And we do have cold fronts that are moving across the east coast. So most likely, this would not be a threat to the U.S., but we'll watch it very closely. Meanwhile, moving into the Caribbean, we have a big dip in the jet stream that's moving all the way down to the south. At the same time, we've had these clusters of thunderstorms moving in from the Atlantic, pushing into the Caribbean. The interaction of those two things can lead to tropical development. Right now, the hurricane Hurricane Center giving that about a 20 to 30 percent chance over the next five days. But this is one to watch just because it's going to be tracking out through the Caribbean, which right now is very warm. So if we saw something spin up, we could see some development in this area. Again, too early to say if this would be an issue for the U.S., but always good to keep in mind that we still have hurricane season left in us to watch very closely. Looking at where we stack right now, we are coming in slightly below average for this time of year. We still have 10 percent of hurricane season to get through. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.